James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is September 23rd, 2023, 4.30 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. The good news, guys, we're working on a short opening. So that's all going to change by Monday. We'll cut it down from 20 seconds to 10 or less. The bad news is we've had another M-class solar flare. It popped off around 20.30 UTC time, which is right about 1.30 Central Time here in the U.S. and lasted till about 2200 UTC time or 2 p.m. here centrally in the U.S. It was a 1.6 M-flare. Now, you guys know I'm catching it before they've modeled it or even suggested what sunspot it came from. We're going to make some educated guesses here. I want you all to see the activity here on the limb directly facing the largest, closest gas giant in the solar system, Jupiter. You can see a large explosion here. I'm afraid we've had a much larger explosion than an M1.6 and luckily it was mostly around the limb when this occurred so our satellites that orbit earth only picked up an m1.6 good news this solar flare that we know kicked out a coronal mass ejection came from ar 3433 based on what we saw on go 16 at 195 angstroms we all saw how large the explosion actually was compared to these much larger M8 flares that have been Earth-facing. So it was most probably an X flare. But again, I don't think that this will have much effect, if any, on Earth. I did jump over to STO just to check my work here. And you can see the flare there. It's most definitely a stronger flare than an M-class 1.6 solar flare. But, again, I don't think that it will affect Earth. Now, I know everyone's wondering, have we been hit yet? Have we been hit by any of these M-flares? Well, according to the college index we have, uh, alone today they had six hours of geomagnetic storm, uh, two of those being a G2 geomagnetic storm. On the estimated planetary index, we've seen no action whatsoever. Uh, and on the Fredericksburg, but on the Boulder Index, it matches up with the College Index down below, uh, although it shows three hours of geomagnetic disturbance. Now, no one knows if any of this information is real or Memorex. We all have figured that out by now. Finally, examining the D-Region Absorption Prediction Center, we're getting a steady C plus baseline, so everyone's getting plenty of radiation in the form of x rays. And this is the M1.6 covering parts of Central America, the west coast of the US and Canada, and just about directly over Hawaii, uh, right over the Pacific Ocean mostly. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, another M flare. I don't think this one's Earth directed. We will do an update around 9 p.m. in about five and a half hours. And we'll let you know everything that's occurred today, space weather-wise, 9 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours. Please share, please subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible. Bizarro world.